Welcome back from spring break. I hope you had a peaceful and relaxing time, uh, enjoying time with, with family and friends. Let me start by offering my congratulations to the entire campus. This is for the American Council on Education's Transformation Award. The award recognized the hard work that we've put forth as a campus and a local community to build a stronger partnership between the two. Here, this work yielded great benefits in terms of physical infrastructure, but also in terms of our academic programs and our research partnerships as well. So congratulations to each and every one of you for this big award. This week, we host the UND Writers Conference. It's the 53rd annual version of this event. This is a chance for us to attract noted uh, authors and poets and uh, creative persons to our campus uh, to celebrate uh, the role of literature and the liberal arts in our society. Specific thanks go out to Professor Crystal Alberts for her hard work planning and executing this event, not just this year, but in uh, numerous years before. Uh, as part of this Writers' Conference, we will also honor the life and legacy of UND alumnus and uh, Pulitzer Prize winning uh, playwright Maxwell Anderson. And we will honor him with the installation of a literary landmark outside of the Burtness Theater. These literary landmarks exist throughout the U.S., but in fact, this is the first one uh, to be installed here in the state of North Dakota. It's a great opportunity for us to celebrate the legacy of, of Maxwell Anderson and to honor his family. Just as I started the month of March, let me end the month of March with the recognition of the importance of this month as Women's History Month, uh, a chance for us to celebrate the many accomplishments of women both here on campus and also throughout society. And I don't know if you had a chance to see it, but there was a great article written in UND Today that talked about Eddie Fay Gates, who was a noted uh, historian from, from Oklahoma and an educator, and she did her work on the 1921 Tulsa Race Massacre. It's important for UND to recognize contributions like hers, but also to ensure the foundation and opportunities that we create on our campus move us to a more fair and equitable campus. This requires ongoing examination and work, and we're committed to doing just that. Shortly, you'll receive another notice about mask requirements on campus, and we're going to further relax uh, the masking requirements in our, uh, in our public spaces. And so pay attention to that. We're moving from, uh, from uh, pandemic response mode uh, to what's more of an endemic mode for our campus. And so pay close attention to the announcements that are forthcoming. And with that, let me close for the, the day and say welcome back again from spring break. Uh, keep up your hard work. Let's finish the semester strong.